Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Trail Makers, and today we are going to try to build a catapult-proof car, because as we all know, these catapults are notorious for just absolutely destroying your vehicle. I'm actually surprised that we survived as much as we did on that. Normally, when we try to do the catapult, we explode instantly. Let's see if I could give an example of that. That time it only took off like a couple wheels and things. But yeah, let's see what happens here. There we go. That's more of what I was expecting. So um, the catapults are extremely, extremely destructive. And I kept getting comments from you guys saying to, to make a car that can survive the catapults. Now there's two factors to surviving this catapult. The first is the launch. We have to create something that can at least survive the launch, but then it's not over yet. Then we have to land. <laughs> so we might be able to survive the launch, maybe, I don't know, but can we then survive the landing? So that is the goal that we are setting out today. So I figured a good way to start is let's go through our history of cars or vehicles that we build in trail makers and see if any of them are cut out for it or how they behave and what differences there might be in between them. Cause that might give us an idea of where we need to go with that. Hey, why don't we start with the mini skateboard here? All right, so we'll put the mini skateboard on this. If you guys didn't see the skateboarding videos, go ahead and check it out. Uh, trail makers, Scrapman skateboarding is probably what you have to, oh yeah, see that's not it. But actually, let's do an experiment here. What if we change the seat on the skateboard to an indestructible seat? Now, some people have been saying in the comments, why are you using the uh, go-kart seat? Because it's fragile. Why not use the indestructible seat? And that's because I believe that the indestructible seat doesn't make your creation indestructible. It's just the seat itself is indestructible. But that might, it, it might still help us here because I feel like part of what's exploding is the seat itself, not just the creation. So let's see what happens. We'll put an indestructible seat in here. I forget which way forward was. I think it was this way. Now let's see if this helps us uh, survive with our skateboard here. And, oh, hey, well, we lost our wheels and then we exploded on the landing. All right, so the indestructible seat does help the seat not explode, but as you can see, the rest of the creation still gets damaged. But there is definitely a difference there. So I will keep that in mind. When we build an actual car for this, we're definitely gonna be using the indestructible seat. Oh, we lost all of our wheels on that one. Look at that. All right, well, let's see how the large skateboard compares with an indestructible seat as well. All right, there goes nothing. Oh boy. <laughs> it's too big. It's just way too big. But that was satisfying to watch it just get split in half like that. All right, let's see how our jet ski does. So I'm I'm predicting that smaller is gonna be better because I figured smaller, there's less parts moving around. There's less things that can get damaged and explode. So I figured if anything is gonna survive, the less parts that can get damaged, the better it's gonna do. So let's try it out with the snowmobile and see how this does. Now my prediction for this is that our skis are gonna be the weak point here. But let's find out. And... Ooh, yeah, we lost a ski, but look at that. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, that actually helped me out a lot with thinking about how to do this. I don't know if you guys noticed, but as soon as we got launched, this thing kind of just turned forward like a missile because of its length, and it has some aerodynamic effects. So we want a longer vehicle, probably, to straighten ourselves out. And then we might need to put some... Um, some maybe some fins on it or some wings to try to glide a little bit so it's kind of going to be like a glider car and we're going to use this as our launching point but the big issue i think is going to be making the um the launch itself not destroy our wheels so let's see do i have any actual cars i don't know if i have any just normal car oh this thing's actually pretty normal this is our pushy vehicle from the jenga video all right well let's see let's see how this does Oh, I forgot to put the indestructible seat on it because I think our seat just exploded on that one. Now, of course, if I do this successfully, I know you guys are gonna comment, uh, make a catapult proof car without the indestructible seat, but you know, let's just, let's take it easy. Let's do one step at a time here. All right, let's see how this does now. Okay, nothing, that's good. That's good. This, actually this car, isn't too bad. I want to do an experiment here now with, um, does suspension make the launch more volatile? Because I'm predicting that suspension, as it launches, the suspension will compress, causing your vehicle to hit against the catapult. And that might damage you on the launch. 
But then without suspension, the landing is going to be more difficult. So let's add suspension to this thing because we had a flawless launch. All we need now is a flawless landing. And of course, this vehicle isn't ideal, but we have an example vehicle right now that can survive a launch. So that's what I'm going to go with. Yes, yes, we are good. Now let's see, does this thing survive the launch? Um, It looked like it? I'm actually not sure. It sounded like something got damaged. And actually, now that I think about it, it should tell me in the bottom right corner. I wasn't paying attention, though. But it should tell me in the bottom right corner whether or not... <laughs> Look at the, <laughs> the bounce of this thing. It should tell me in the bottom right corner. I gotta finish my sentences. Uh, whether... Of course, I interrupt my sentence telling myself that I had to finish my sentences. What I was saying is it should tell me in the bottom right corner whether or not this thing needs to be repaired. But here it goes. All right, it didn't tell me in the bottom right corner, but I can see that it, oh, now it tells me. Now it tells me it's broken. I lost half my wheels and it didn't tell me, but once I landed and lost the little weight thing, then it tells me, of course. So it actually does seem like the suspension makes the launch harder because I'm seeing an explosion on the launch each time. Watch carefully. Ready? Watch the explosion. See that? Wait, that might, oh, maybe not. I think that explosion, is it actually the catapult itself? All right, I think I know what to do now. I think we're gonna use suspension and we're gonna see if we can do this without actual gliding. Let's see if we can do this with a real car. If we can't do it without gliding, then we'll add a gliding aspect into it. But now I just need to make sure that I build a vehicle that when launched is going to face in the direction I want it to upright so we can land wheels down. So, uh, Let's uh, delete this thing. We're gonna start completely from scratch with our indestructible seat as our base. And let's see what we build. Alright, this vehicle doesn't look great, but uh, I think it just has all the basics that I hope we need. We get the tail fin to keep us facing forward. Uh, I chose the- I don't know how the big wheels are actually going to affect things, but I got the big wheels in hopes that they're going to have- make our landing a little bit softer. And you know what? I probably should have the big wheels extend just in front of the nose. Just in case we have like a nose landing, it'll land wheels first instead of, you know, nose first. So that might help just a little bit, but I'm afraid that the big wheels are actually gonna be, uh, I guess more fragile in the launch process. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Imagine if this works on the first try. And okay, 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 okay. Dang it. <laughs> we were so close. No, I'm not gonna give up though. Let's try again. We might have a chance with just this vehicle without having to add any gliding aspects to it. I feel like we might be, oh, 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 I see. We're a little bit nose heavy right now because of our seat. But the tail fin, look at the way the tail fin kind of works. All right, all right. Now I'm just gonna move my seat and everything else. I'm just gonna put my seat right back here. That's all I'm gonna do. There we go. Let's see how this does. We're a little bit more back heavy probably. I don't know, actually, we could be we could be pretty well centered, but hopefully we won't nosedive this time. All right, let's just go straight onto it. I actually really like the way this vehicle feels. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. It was that simple. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that simple to create a catapult-proof car, but... The challenge, the inevitable challenge that I know you, that I'm anticipating from you guys is, does this work? Can we do this without the indestructible seats? Oh boy. Oh, oh, this is bad. That's bad. That, <laughs> not good if you go upside down. I do want to try to land it one more time though, just for confirmation that we didn't just get super lucky. And I think it's all about just your approach. Oh, your approach to the, uh, to the catapult here. And I think straight on, is the best approach. Oh boy, that didn't work quite. Hey, but, but we didn't, we survived. We landed without getting damaged. So I'm gonna say that's a success. All right, so now let's switch it up. 
Let's go to the most fragile of seats, which is, of course, the go-kart seat, and see if we instantly explode. All right, here it goes. <laughs> it sent us flying backwards. What was that all about? Okay, so obviously, well, let's try it again. Just, you know, sometimes we just have flukes, and that could have been a fluke. I'm gonna go nice and slow onto the platform. Yeah, clearly that's a problem. All right, but we might have a potential solution. My potential solution to that is I'm going to add shield plating underneath the actual seat because maybe it's not the speed of the acceleration, but maybe it's the fact that the bottom of the catapult is hitting the bottom of our car, which I don't actually know if that's a fact or not, but I, I'm assuming that if that did happen, it could negatively affect the structural stability of our seat. So I'm just gonna add a bunch of shield plating all around the seat area, just like that. And we're gonna see if that saves us. Oh, I think we're a little bit back heavy now, judging by the way the suspension was uh, behaving there. But if we don't explode on launch, man, this thing feels so much heavier. How much do those plates weigh? All right, well, just for, just for reference, the seat weighs 17.5 kilograms and the plates weigh 2.5. Okay, that's not nearly as much as I thought. I used six plates though. All right, here we go. Do the plates protect our seats? They really don't. Okay, so now I wanna know, is any seat possible with other than the indestructible seat? Can we, like, what? what is the, uh, oh, this seat's fortified with a roll cage. Let's ignore the VIP seat. Um, indestructible, doesn't say anything about fragility here. This one provides very little protection. Yeah, the only the only seats that have any indication of damage resistance is the armored seat. This seat says it's a fortified roll cage, and this seat says it's very little protection. So let's let's assume that the fortified roll cage is better than all of the other seats, but that this seat is worse than all the other seats. So let's go in between, and let's say let's just use this one for now. Let's see if this one just survives the launch. Oh, nope. I will do another test. I want to do at least two tests with every type of seat. And this time I'm gonna go straight on, just in case the first one was uh, was a fluke and wasn't like a typical response to the catapult. All right, nice and slow. Oh, look at that, see? That's why we do multiple tests, but can we survive the landing? We did! All right, now that makes me feel like maybe there's a chance. Maybe there is a chance for the go-kart seat. But let's try the other seats now. Are all seats other than the go-kart seat gonna be equal with this. All right, operator seat is confirmed. Let's go ahead and test out the diving bell. All right, nice and slow. We're gonna try to do it the same exact way. Okay, the seat survived. We lost a wheel though. That's not exactly what I was expecting. Ooh, oh, then the seat got destroyed there. All right, let's try this again. What? Okay, this is weird. It, this seat seems to be a little bit less, uh, well, actually, I don't really know. I only did two tests with the operator seat, so it's hard to say this is less consistent since that one got two different results. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Survive. Okay. This is interesting. It survived the first time, and now it is no longer surviving. Take three. There we go. That's a good one. And... Oh, we lost a wheel on the landing, but you know what? I'm gonna say that that counted. Confirmed the diving bell can survive. Now, what about the cockpit? And then after this, we're gonna have the, uh, forti the, the standard seat, which is supposedly fortified with a roll cage, which I don't know if that makes it less likely to explode on the launch here. But the ultimate goal, in case you guys didn't realize right now that I've said for myself, is can we do it without exploding the go-kart seat? But first, I do want to see if all the other seats... Oh, yeah, look at that. That one worked. Oh, boy. I don't know what happened there, but that wasn't bad. Okay, so cockpit confirmed. Cockpit can survive. And now let's go for just the standard seat that everybody starts with. Here it goes. I'm, I'm predicting yes. Could try that again. I think we could try that again. There it is. There it is. All right, let's survive the landing now. Uh, hey, look at that. All right, so that seat is good. All right, now back to the dreaded 
go-kart seat. Lightest weight of them all. Maybe if our entire vehicle weighs more? I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. I was thinking if more weight on the vehicle, maybe it'll just overall, the catapult will have a slower launch, but I don't think that's true. I think the catapult is pretty set in its launch speed. All right, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's just gonna explode every time. All right, I'm gonna do an experiment here. I don't know what is triggering the seat to explode. The only thing I can really think is doing it though is purely just the acceleration is too much for the seat to handle but as an experiment just in case i'm going to completely fortify this seat with shields just in case something weird's happening somewhere on it i don't know but we are just gonna put shield plates all around this seat all right here it goes look at that <laughs> this looks so stupid it's just a box of shields literally just a box of shields if this doesn't save the seat from exploding then we might be completely hopeless oh no we're not we are maybe not maybe not completely hopeless we'll get into that later we'll get into that later we'll see if this works all right here we go two tries though two tries try one more time if this time doesn't work then the the go-kart seat might be a lost cause for this particular challenge. Okay, here it goes. Instant explosion every single time. Okay, so here is, here's my last resort idea. I can't think of anything else that could make this seat not explode. It seems like it's exploding because the acceleration is so fast that it reads it as pretty much an impact. So we need to cushion the impact of the launch itself, which to me means maybe more suspension. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit weird, but uh, we got to try it. So I'm not familiar with how this is going to work. I've n I don't think I've ever stacked suspension, but we're going to stack some suspension here and we're going to see if we can make this cushion Let's go with three for now to start off with. Where can we put this? All right, let's see how that behaves just by itself. Like, that's a decent amount of compression. What if we put them a little bit stiffer, though? Because we're going to need these things to really resist the compression or really resist the force of this catapult. All right, here's our new vehicle. Look at that suspension go. I don't know how this is going to work, but it's going to be interesting. Let's just drive this thing around for a second, though, and watch the suspension. I have it on full stiffness and hope that that'll help you know, it's a lot of force going on, so I'm hoping that the full stiffness will make it not compress too uh, instantly. All right, let's see how this goes. I really don't know what to expect here. I'm assuming we're going to explode, but as far as what happens to the wheels, I don't know. They're a little floppy. All right, and here it goes. That wasn't hopeful. I kind of want to, like, the wheels are a little bit floppy, so I kind of want to attach them together as well, create, like, an axle in between them so that they're not going to, like, spread apart or anything like that. All right, there we go. So that should just add a little bit of stability to the wheels themselves. They're not going to spread and flop around too much. I doubt this is going to make a difference to our seat exploding, but we'll find out. This thing actually handles way better than I. it looks like it's going to. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Catapult. I don't know if we can do this. Like, this might be legitimately just flat up impossible. You know what? I'm actually, I'm going to cushion this even further. Not cushion, but I'm going to stabilize this even further. Because what I'm noticing is that the front wheels are kind of, they're, they're kind of buckling underneath. So I'm just going to create another axle going from front wheel to back wheel just to make sure that this entire wheelbase is nice and stable and it's all going to cushion at the same time and hope that that matters. All right, this should give us... Oh boy, a little bit too much stability, I think. Oh, this feels so weird now. It's not bad though. This is not bad. So basically we are now a seat on top of a springboard. And that springboard is going to theoretically make the seat less likely to explode by cushioning the velocity or cushioning the uh, acceleration, rather. However, this makes us much less... Uh... All right, just turn around. I, I want to turn around. There we go. All right, we'll see what happens. Let's just try it. Eh... <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> this affects things so much. 
it makes us so much more bouncy. Like, look at that. That is really interesting. We can hardly even get up here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here's a moment of truth. Let's try sideways. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, that's a weird camera thing. Hmm. Yeah, so we're completely surrounded by shields. We have three suspensions worth of cushioning. You know what? Let's mess with the dampening here. I'm not that familiar with like suspension and dampening for some reason always confuses me. I forget which value means what. But let's try the extremes of both. We'll try full dampening and uh see what happens. All right, here we go. Full dampening. This is, there's no way this is going to make that big of an effect. Nope. Okay, let's try dampening on minimum then. All right, minimum dampening. Here we go. All right, none of those made a difference. There's only one thing. Only one thing, only one place to go from here, and that is to literally double up all of it. Oh, wait. Actually, we didn't try zero stiffness. There's no reason why this will work. Like, yeah, it's just not even going to cushion anything. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, here it goes. Another explosion. <laughs> I love it when it throws our character back towards the ground. It just makes it even more sad. All right, so I'm just going to add twice as much suspension. So we're going to have six suspensions on each corner. And if that doesn't do it, then I think we're completely lost. All right, now there's no way we're going to get up on this platform. <laughs> what are we going to do? Go backwards? We can go backwards. Why do we want to lean back so much? That's kind of interesting. This thing really wants to lean back. All right, here it goes. Why have... Whoa! <laughs> That's funny. That was funny right there. I wish I could do that in slow motion. Trailmakers needs like a slow-mo option. But if you're in single player, there should be a slow-mo option for sure. All right, I want to see that happen again though. Oh... <laughs> This is just a fun vehicle in and of itself. All right, uh, having a little bit of trouble controlling myself here. Should be no surprise. Well, this thing is really good at wheelies. I don't know why, but this thing really wants to tilt back. And I guess we have most of our shield weight on the back, but that seems that seems a little extreme. All right, we'll just back up. Looks like this vehicle is better suited to go backwards. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, look at that. That is so weird. Are the shields really having that much of an effect? All right, and launch. Nope. You know what? I'm kind of curious. I am kind of curious. What if I put just a seat? We know that this seat is pretty well equipped to handling it. So let's see. Does it handle it on its own? I'm just going to hop in the seat. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, well... There goes that hypothesis. I was going to use just the go-kart seat by itself to see if it really is just the acceleration, but the acceleration even hurts other seats. So clearly the cushion of the vehicle and the wheels does have an impact on saving the seats, but it just doesn't seem to have enough of an impact on the go-kart seat. All right, so I'm completely out of ideas on how we could possibly save the go-kart seat from the catapult, but we were successful at least in creating a vehicle that was able to survive the catapult, not only just the launch, but the landing as well without even having to glide. So I wanna challenge you guys, if you guys play Trailmakers, can you build a car that uses the go-kart seat that can survive the catapult. Not even just the launch, but the launch is impressive on its own. If you could survive the launch though, you could definitely survive the landing. But uh, if you do, uh, upload it to the workshop and comment down below the name of the vehicle and I would definitely wanna check that out if there is something that can actually survive. So I guess that's my challenge to the Trailmakers community is use the go-kart seat on a catapult or a catapult rather as they call it here and uh, don't explode. Try not to explode. If you don't have trail makers though, let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions for me and those who do have trail makers. Uh, what kind of things would you have tried out that I didn't think of in this episode? And let me know if there are other things you'd like me to try. One thing I'm actually thinking about, I'm not too sure though, is kind of like a, um, maybe doing like a Mythbusters thing of trail makers because there are some things I see in the comments sometimes that I don't know if are true. And one of them was like the indestructible seeds. Some people seem to think that your creation would be indestructible if you use the indestructible seat. And obviously that myth has been busted here. Your creation is still destructible while your seat is just not. So there might be some other things. So if there's anything in Trailmakers that you um, may have heard myths about or that you want confirmation of, let me know down in the comments. 
if I get enough ideas for that kind of episode, I'll do it. But right now, I only have, like, two ideas. So, not really enough for a full episode. Anyway, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those kind of things. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>